All right, we are here today at the American Legion here in Traverse City, Michigan, and we got ourselves a real barn burner coming in. We got a group of bikers that are going to be riding from here, escorting over um, the, I might be wrong on this. Let me double check. Man, I suck at this. And I got a special guest here, it's Mr. Tom. He's gonna to tell us everything about what's going on today. Tom? Hello everyone, my name's Tom Wilden. I'm the current director of the Legion Riders of Post 35. Uh, we're here today, this is the kickoff for Cherry Festival. It's an event called Open Ramp. And what's gonna happen, we hope to have 50, 60, 70 motorcycles here. We'll be escorted into the pace. We'll line up and everybody coming into the open ramp will walk by and we'll wave and we'll, and we'll do all that good stuff. Why do we do it? Uh, I had a lady ask me that a couple years ago. Why are the motorcycles here? I said the motorcycles are here because a lot of us are military or have military backgrounds and we're here to honor our police, uh, the people in the military and our first responders. And we're all together in one unit. We got probably six, seven, eight different motorcycle clubs will be represented here this evening. And that's it. Next year, come out and join us. That's it, guys. Uh, this guy's the real deal, too. He does. They, their group here, the American Legion Riders in town, they do a lot of good things for our community. And uh, we're just very blessed to even be a part of this. So um, this isn't out there that much on the social media. Um, it's kind of a word of mouth type of invite, right, Tom? Yeah. So it's open to everybody, but you just got to, yep. if you know, you know, type of thing. So here's a couple of our people right now. We're just going to roll right through and uh, let's go check out some of these awesome looking bikes. The angels are going, baby. You guys got to see some of these damn bikes. These things are amazing. Check this out. That sharp, this green is absolutely amazing. I love green bikes and this thing is, is top notch. Now this one is his wife's. So this is all dedicated to uh, female, female veterans. We got a mix of bikes here, cool, which is cool. You got your street bikes, you got the trikes. This thing is unique, I really like this. We got jet bikes, we got American muscle, we got all sorts of stuff here, man. This place is, uh, this is really cool. Really. Just unique looking bikes. This one's one of my favorites. So this is actually a trike kit put on. Of course, we got the big ugly over here. And we got a lot of different clubs here as well. We got uh, the Warthogs. Right here on Traverse City, we got some Abate members. We got, of course, the Patriot Saints Riding Club represented, as well as American Legion riders, and then there's some more on the way. So um, this should be pretty fun. All right, so we're getting ready to roll out. We got some rain in the in, in the area. Not bad though. And uh, I don't know. We got probably 30 bikes here right now. So. 
got a police escort. We're going to be on our way, man. Can't wait. All right, so we made it here to the Coast Guard Air Station here in Traverse City. And uh, as you can see, we just got all the bikes lined up. Nice and pretty. I think the weather kind of affected this because we usually have quite a few people on here, is what I was told. But uh, yeah, you get to go right out here onto the airfield and see all the cool stuff. Oh, look it. It's trouble. <laughs> so this is Miss Courtney from abate region three she's the new newish six months in nine months in yeah nine months in to be in the uh area coordinator for region three on the west side right Absolutely. and we all know the west side is the best side oh heck yeah <laughs> so, no better side than and the you west got side. you got some friends with you yes this is miss chloe and then i've got black widow over here I'm not allowed to show her she, she already yelled no. at me earlier no. from the video that you guys won't see yet but I was yes, given my, strict directions. Hear my voice on podcast. But she's going to be on a podcast very soon with my brother uh, Big E from the Mid Michigan Biker Podcast. So look forward to that. And uh, 
yeah, let's go check out some cool planes and what else is here? Helicopters. We're gonna go, ch We're gonna go check out the uh, Blue Angels now. These guys are, they've been making all the noise. So earlier in the video, when you guys were hearing that roar, that's from these guys. They were up here in the clouds doing some cool stuff, but. That's pretty cool. These things though, these are awesome. All right, we made it. Look at this machine. So, these might be a touch louder than my tab exhaust, but we'll see. I mean, the verdict's out, to be honest. No one really, no one really knows. We haven't tested it. F-18 Super Hornet. all right well we are back at it again man there's all sorts of cool stuff out here we had to take a little bit of a break because uh, we had some planes coming in so they kicked everybody off the tarmac so i had to cut the uh, blue angels jet short but let's go check out some more all right so we are here with the black knight look at this bad dog all over the place as usual. That's pretty much it, man. We walked around, seen a lot of cool things, a lot of people here, a lot of young kids, and they're having a blast. And uh, I think this is really cool that the uh, Blue Angels and our Coast Guard here locally in Traverse City host this event. They do this every single year, and um, it's just it's just really neat to see all the kids get involved. And you know, it's just a, it's a big festival, really. Um, they got radio stations here they got tents set up on the other side um, they're selling some swag selling patches t-shirts things like that and um, this is a great way to kick off the national cherry festival and us being a coast guard town i couldn't be more prouder of uh having these uh fine men and women in my backyard keeping us safe so on to the next one we'll see you guys soon almost home we did get wet soaking wet but uh, my little girl wants some ice cream. I say little, she's 20, but she wants some ice cream and not just any ice cream. She wants some movers ice cream. So you gotta do that, right?